And if uh, some of the rants coming out of the popular press are correct, terribly dangerous to boot. The possible problem? Mercury. Ah, cool stuff, Mercury. I remember my grandparents had a big jar of it, and I would pour it out and play with it for hours. <laughs> Unfortunately, now we know that it is easily absorbed into the body, even by the skin, and that can cause serious problems, which is why we couldn't actually get hold of any. <clears throat> so, how is it that Mercury gets into our fish. Well, I'll tell you. Mercury naturally occurs in many rocks, like coal. Burn the coal, let's say a power plant, and the mercury uh, goes skyward from the plant's smokestacks. Precipitation carries it back to the ground, where streams and rivers then move it into the sea. There, it is set upon by bacteria, which turn it into the farm water, dangerous methyl mercury. Microscopic amounts end up in small fish, which are consumed by medium fish, which are then consumed by large predators, including big tuna, which, due to their long lifespans, tend to store up more mercury in their bodies than other fish. When you eat them, some small portion the mercury becomes ours for a long time.